So this is a channel that we have now just foiled in the last 10 days, all the way around the inner garden and terminates on either end of the test lake so that the water can flow here into the lake. The section of the channel, it is seven meters wide. Then the shores slope down into one into three. And at the bottom we have a short section that is horizontal and the channel is one meter 25 below the road. So the water level inside is about one meter. A specialist from Germany came to visit us here. Said is his name to oversee the procedure of the welding and of laying the foil into the channel. The day after his arrival, he gave us an intensive training course on how to handle the different machines that come into use, different techniques. There's double wedge welding and there's fusion welding. So for us, it was a very intense and interesting time because we have learned a lot. laying and welding team would come in the evening around sunset at 6 p.m. and on most days they work till midnight and even after because we are now in the middle of the summer season and it was not possible to work during the daytime. The HDPE liner is black and attracts a lot of solar radiation. It becomes so hot that one cannot touch it. We can only work in the evening and in the night. This thing that you see behind me is the roll of the liner and this is the first hundred meters of liner here on the other side. The morning team is preparing the soil for the people who are going to set the liner. So here they are making this soil as smooth as that one. In the morning the third team would go around and test the double wedge welds that had been done in the previous night and uh, see whether they were all according to specifications and uh, we can now say that we are 100% sure that the channel is fully waterproof. Now that the entire channel has been lined with the HDP, we started covering the foil with some granite chips. This is mostly to protect the sheet against solar radiation but also against mechanical damage.